Hi everyone. Oh, let me change one thing. That's better. Now I look more symmetrical. If you were to draw a line down my center, I'd have a symmetry around that line. Not exactly, but it's as close as I can get. Symmetry is actually an advanced mathematical idea, and it's something that I enjoyed learning about whilst studying mathematics. I studied symmetries through a course on group theory, which takes all the symmetries an object has and treats them together as a group of operations. A critical test for symmetry is that something looks the same even if you change the way you're looking at it. For example, I can look at this seed cone in five different ways and it looks the same. This object has a cyclic group of symmetries of order five. And it's not just visual patterns that can be studied. Group theory also applies to looking for sameness when taking measurements in different ways. This is an example I have done before on this channel, but it's relevant again now. If I rotate my arm once, there is not symmetry, but if I rotate it twice, I'm back where I started. This demo represents a group that has symmetry under two rotations. In fact, fundamental symmetry principles dictate the basic laws of physics and chemistry, which is why I find it so interesting. Another interesting math course I took as part of my degree looked at mathematical paradoxes. One in particular that I remember was Russell's paradox. Now, to understand this, you'll have to know a little bit about sets. That's well, kind of easy. A set is just a group of things. For example, me and you would be part of the set of people. Unless you're a cat. So Russell's paradox asks you to form the set of all sets that don't contain themselves and asks, does this set contain itself? Gets kind of complicated. It's best to sort of uh, write it down and think about this, but it can be illustrated in the barber shop problem. So if you have a barber who shaves everyone in town except people that shave themselves, who shaves the barber? If you think about it, well, if the barber tried to shave himself, there'd be a problem because the barber doesn't shave people who shave themselves. And if you got someone else to shave the barber, then that wouldn't work either because the barber shaves everyone who doesn't shave themselves. You get kind of into a loop and, and that's why it's a paradox. It represents that there are sometimes problems with how we think about maths on the most fundamental level. Because creating sets to hold numbers and ideas is something that happens pretty often when writing mathematics. Paradoxes like this help to form the direction of mathematical rules and philosophy going forwards. I found it pretty interesting to study because it was a chance to really look and think about what mathematics is, rather than treating it as purely a tool to do other things. Lastly, I want to really quickly mention linear algebra. This is a topic where you can take a bunch of equations you have, take the coefficients, and put them into a matrix. Pretty much you can reduce any system of equation down to the form AX equals B, where A is your matrix. X is like the vector of things you're trying to solve for, and B is the vector of solutions. Now, I'm not going to go into how to solve these problems. It includes manipulating the matrices, um, but it actually turns out to be pretty cool and makes computing 
systems of equations a lot easier in some cases. Say for example you have three equations representing three planes in 3D space. By looking at the matrix you can find out uh, if there will be no solutions to your problem. So these three planes will never intersect. You can find out if there will be one solution so they will intersect in one place or if there will be infinitely many solutions and that's pretty cool to be able to find out. Thanks for watching. This was a requested follow-up video to one I did about the three things I actually learnt during a physics degree. If you have any questions or want to discuss any of the ideas here uh, please leave a comment below.